everybody and welcome back to my channel um, or welcome to it if you're only just clicking on this video now. Um, this feels strange, I haven't done this in a while. Um, please forgive the radio silence on my channel. Um, you know when just life gets in the way, like busy all the time, like I found it really difficult. Um, I did film a vlog, like a weekend vlog in March. Um, like the very last weekend of March and it took so long to edit my my laptop has just been like trying to throw a hizzy fit at me so um yeah it's been a bit of a struggle so I haven't managed to get that one up um I mean if you do want to see it I've got it somewhere I can finish it off and always upload it but I just feel like what's the point in uploading a weekend vlog like two months later so um anyway um i'd like to say i'm looking bronze because i've just come back from my holiday but unfortunately i don't tan very well so this is the best to get in um but yes i just came back from a week in spain with jesse came back uh, just under a week ago and I wanted to save the clothing bits that I took out there just to show you what I took away with me this year. I did decide not to vlog whilst I was out there. I was going to, like I fully picked up the camera on day one and started like vlogging. But I decided against it like because I just feel like I wanted to be out there and just relax and really enjoy the time because you know things have just been a bit hectic lately it was a really nice holiday literally all we did was nothing and that's exactly what i needed i'm feeling very relaxed and stress-free for it now yeah so i've got a big old pile of stuff next to me i'm just gonna go through um some bits i wore some bits i didn't get to i took a lot with me but i'm just gonna show you like the outfit ideas i had for holiday and obviously as with everything when i discuss clothing it will all be linked below for you um, um, and yeah if you do click on the links because you like anything I can see the like the insights and stuff it helps me know what sort of things you're interested in so that I know what sort of things to involve in like future hauls so be sure to click on anything that you're interested in have a little look at it just start from the top of this pile and work my way down um, there is going to be no specific order to it literally like just unpacked because I'm lazy some of the stuff won't be in the best shape like it's all been washed but i haven't like ironed some of it i'm not gonna lie like i don't have my life together enough to start ironing ironing things for videos so um i'm also missing a nail please don't roast me in the comments yeah um but i've got these little pasta nails on at the moment they're really cute but i am missing a yellow one let's try and ignore that um and i will just move on to the haul because i'm already going off on a tangent i pretty much bought all this brand new just for the holiday but i needed to revamp my summer wardrobe a little bit this year so um some of these bits will be staying with me throughout summer so i'll start off with the top piece this is going to look very funny on camera but this is a bikini um, it's one of those one size ones from ASOS which are made of like that towel fabric and so it means that on when they're not on a body they look really like shapeless and also tiny like you can see how much this stretch is. Um, like this is definitely fine for if you're a little bit bustier, if you're smaller chested, like it literally fits anyone hence the one size thing. It is the comfiest bikini ever. Um, and these are the bottoms to it, so again, they do look a bit funny when they're not kind of on a body. Um, but obviously I'll link it below and you can go and have a look at it. So they kind of sit high, um, like up on your hips, sort of high waisted. The back's really flattering, it's not like everything's on show. Um, but you know, it's quite flattering, the shape of it looks really nice when it's on, I promise. Um, and it's sort of like, so it's like a pink colour, but it's also got like this metallic sheen to it. Absolutely love this and i obviously i was gonna say i got this in a size blah 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 but it is one size so um yeah that one's from asos they do lots of other colors in it as well i believe um they've got like a neon pink like an orange um they do swimsuit versions they do high-waisted bottoms like all the way high-waisted at the front as well next is another bikini this one i thought was going to be very similar hence why i purchased it but this one's from pretty little thing um so again this was a one size one but i've got to say it's nowhere near as comfy as the pink one it's not got that same like nice towely fabric it, it it looks like it does but it's more crinkly and it does it feels a little bit like rougher on the skin like, especially when you're putting it on and off like if you're a bit sunburnt at the end of the day like a bit of a nightmare but very nice so this one's like a bit of a boxier top the other one was sort of had like a little it looked more triangular triangular um but this one's a little bit boxier so almost like a crop top again it looks tiny but it does stretch quite a bit um yeah and then the bottoms again similar sort of style so they are like high-waisted on the side 
again that like um sort of brazilian bottom i guess you could say but yeah a bit more coverage than some of the bikinis that are around at the moment when i was at the pool um i lived in this so i picked this up on primark like two days before i actually flew out i was like the one thing i'm really missing is something to throw over my like bikinis and stuff because i mean i wasn't quite summer board ready when i went out so it was just nice to have something to cover up a little bit and i picked this up in primark and it was 13 pounds i think so super cheap white sort of netted lace sleeves little tie at the front and i bought this in a large because i wanted it to be nice and big and comfortable um but yeah it covers your bum as well but i absolutely love that and lived in it Oh, I've forgotten how to do these. I get really out of breath. Where's my water gone? I do with that right now. That's better. Moving on next. You would have seen this one's come apart a bit. So this little string that I've got here, um, you'll see that it's kind of got a lace up little front bit down the cleavage. So this obviously weaves in and out of that, but I can't be bothered to put it back in. I'm really sorry. Um, but I love this little maxi dress and I think I got it in, like Boohoo had some sort of deal on and it was like, 11 or 12 pounds and it's got like these little ruffle straps and obviously the lace up on the front and it's maxi and it's got a slit in the leg as well kind of like sort of bodycon ish until it gets past the bum and then obviously it flows out a little bit more i got this in an eight i wish i got it in a 10 it's a bit tight can't definitely can't wear a bra with it underneath um, but what I liked about it was you can actually wear it off the shoulder or like that as well So you could turn this into a more evening sort of dress or you could wear it in the daytime like whatever you fancy um, But I'm really into this sort of I don't know if you can tell <laughs> This like Dalmatian sort of uh, dotty print at the moment this by the way I also took on holiday and I bought this in Primark for three pounds three pounds yes um but it is a crop top so hence why i've got this little body underneath it just because <sighs> your girl didn't quite catch the tan she wanted anyway love that little maxi dress really comfortable um i actually went to wear it on holiday and i was eating some cereal and spilt milk on it so i didn't actually get to wear it <laughs> i'm a mess next up we've got this little number this is probably the thing i've had for the longest this is probably the main one where i'm going to I have to ask you to excuse the fact I haven't ironed it. Let me just button it up real quick. My mum went to Rome a while ago and I was scouring Zara because she said she was in there and you know sometimes they have better Zaras abroad. And I saw this little number and I was like, can you pick that up for me if they've got it? And they did. Um, it's like, remember the like poplin dress that everyone raved about or poplin? I don't know what it's called. Um, like a couple of years back. So it's very similar, but it's like a bit more shirty. So it's like got that sort of smock vibe. So it's not tight at all. Um, and I love the fact it's got like this little granddad collar straight into like these little tortoiseshell buttons. Um, this was so cute on holiday with just like a little pair of like sandals. I just think that that was gonna be a little staple for summer, you know, like I could definitely get away with wearing this in England. Um, it's nothing too extravagant. Next, this is the co-order I didn't try quite to get around to wearing. Um, I bought this mint green um, trouser co-order. So these are just wide leg flared trousers, um, high waisted. And then I got them with a little mint green top. They even still have the tags on because I haven't worn them. But I will because again, I can wear this in England. Um, and just like a little mint green like cropped t-shirt. Um, but it's ribbed so it's got quite a nice stretchy fabric and I was stuck between what colours to get this in because they've got a few, I think they've got like black, grey, nude, mint um, and I went for the mint, I was going to wear this to the airport but I picked up something else which I'll show you in a minute and I just thought it was really cute, you know, those summery sort of vibes, wear with some trainers and a little bag. Next I've got a swimming costume. Um, I think that it's really important like it's something that I almost overlooked but when you're buying bikinis and everything you can have literally the best body in the world and sometimes you just have an off day when you're on holiday where you just don't feel like getting quite that vulnerable and revealing and everything so I think it's really important just to take like a swimsuit or two with you because 
you will have those days. I wore this like twice on holiday because I was just like feeling a bit rubbish, wanting to eat my weight in food at the bar and ice cream. So I bought this one on ASOS. It's actually from New Look. Um, it's like a black, again, it's got that really soft sort of towel-y fabric, which was nice. So it's like a black v-neck and then it's got this belt around the middle as well which is like a tortoiseshell belt now i will say it doesn't stay in place very well but it looks nice um and it sort of cinches your waist in a little bit it's quite like an illusion really like especially if you pick the black um from the front it does give you sort of like that hourglass shape um also what like also to be a bit boring um it's quite nice coverage on the bum. I mean, I've got plenty of bikinis, which are a bit cheeky, if you know what I mean. But it was quite nice just to have this one, you know. There's lots of families around by the pool, and sometimes it's just nice to blend in. <laughs> and at one point, I was looking at this like, wow, I can't believe I spent like 20 quid on that, and I'm never gonna, I'm not even gonna wear it this holiday. And then, like, literally day three, I was like, give me this swimming costume. Um, it's got adjustable straps as well, which I thought was really nice. And if you like it and you want it in a few more colours, they definitely had a few, like white. Um, I think they might have had a pink or an orange or something bright as well. But they all had that little belt around the middle, which I thought was like a nice little extra. Um, and the shape on the top is really flattering as well. So yeah, that's one of two swimming costumes that I took away, like full body costumes. Uh, I'll come to the other one in a second, I can see it peeking out. Um, this I wore on my Instagram, again it's not iron, I'm really sorry, um, a big yellow denim shirt. Now this is acid wash, which we all remember acid wash jeans from Topshop back in the day, you know, it's been and gone now, but I think acid wash is potentially coming back round. So I mean, I don't know if you can really see kind of, it's not too in your face acid wash. Oh god, all those creases are really showing now, aren't they? Really exposing me. Anyway, um, but yeah, it's just kind of like yellow, bright yellow, and then a bit lighter, a bit whiter in some places. It's nothing like it used to be, you know, where you'd have like different shades of grey and blue acid wash everywhere. Um, I bought this in the largest size possible on the Boohoo website, which was a 14. Um, I don't think they went any larger than that, but this just about covers my bum, but I wore cycling shorts underneath because it's a bit risque at the front. It's a bit longer at the back than it is at the front. Um, I absolutely love this, and they've got other colours. They've got a baby pink, which literally I would have picked all four of these if I could, but I thought it was a bit overkill. And they've got a baby pink. They have like an aqua blue green, like which I loved. I also bought that, but I realised like taking two away was a bit overkill. Um, and then they've got like your classic sort of like really, really light denim blue, which is the, the other one that I definitely want, which is why I decided not to keep the aqua. Um, just because I was like, oh, I can't keep this. And then go and buy the light blue one when it comes in stock in my size anyway. So, um, and they've also got like little tortoiseshell buttons, which are quite nice for a bit of contrast. Um, again, this is something that I'll be wearing through summer. Oh, this was my favourite thing I took on holiday and I didn't get a chance to wear it. So, you know, when you go on holiday, it's like a thing to keep like your nicest item for the last night and all your way nicest outfit and your nicest jewellery. And yeah, this was going to be it, but <sighs> little old days over here decided to... Uh, get a bit sunburnt and feel a bit ill about it so I was uh, in bed on the last night with a headache feeling a bit sorry for myself and a bit sick so we didn't actually go out for dinner but I would have loved to because I would have worn this and you probably would have seen a lot of people wearing this at the moment um, this is that jumpsuit from Zara that everybody is wearing now it looks a bit funny when it's off because it's like got a cross back so there we are no that's not it at all days so <laughs> this is really hard so that's that's the side oh bloody hell is that the front that's the front oh jesus okay there's the front for you so it's kind of like that sort of v shaped um and it's plissé so i hope that's how you say it i hope it doesn't sound like a dog um but it's got like a little v-neck and then it's crossover on the back um and it's literally like straight down wide leg doesn't cling to you anywhere but it's this gorgeous champagne sort of satin color um 
again like i said it's please say so it's got all of those like sort of crinkles in it and it just looks gorgeous on and especially like with the small amount of tan i managed to get whilst i was on holiday this would have been so nice and this was only 30 pounds i urge you if you've got holiday coming up get this you can accessorize it how you want i tried belts on and without but i preferred it without um but i have seen girls wear it with like a nice gold belt around the middle i've seen people wear it with heels i've seen people wear it with sandals and you know um but i love it because it's quite a stable piece but you can accessorize it however you want to real big fan of this and super comfy as well by the way this again is something i didn't manage to get to wear i didn't wear a lot of this to be honest but i want to show you because you know you know when you just end up going out on holiday and you're like i'm gonna wear this and i'm gonna wear this and then you get there and it's just so hot and sticky and all you want to do is put on like the same pair of jersey jogger shorts and a vest every day so um this is a nice little cropped top that is like um sort of like a slubby material i guess and they've got it's got like that sort of mixed colored yarn in it so it's like white with bits of sort of light gray i guess um yeah really nice and it's got these balloon sleeves Ooh. it's got these sort of balloon sleeves with cuff at the bottom um it's just like a really flattering top again i'd wear this in england with just some jeans so quite happy i've got that really lightweight as well like quite nice cotton so um we'll be wearing that these are my new favorite cycling shorts um if you are looking for cycling shorts look no further than boohoo these are the disco slinky cycling shorts um most cycling shorts will stretch quite a bit but these ones don't seem to so go definitely go true to size so i got these in a 10 um and these are just the black ones but they kind of are that sort of shiny material um, they're double layered really thick really comfortable um and i like them so much i bought them in white as well which i haven't even unpackaged yet i can see them left right in front of me but i haven't taken them out of the packet yet but um yeah i think i will always turn to boohoo now for cycling shorts do you know what really surprised me is i haven't shopped on boohoo since i was in like year 11 like if, if you're watching in the in america we were talking since i was the age of like 16 like when we were going to like house parties and that sort of thing that's when i shop on boohoo for like a cheap bodycon dress for a friday night or whatever and um i've always just associated it to be bad quality and i've always thought about like do you remember that scuba material that was just hideous and i'm really sorry if you ever liked that stuff but i hated it and everything on boohoo was made of that scuba material and i wouldn't just ne i never could disassociate that so i would never ever shop on boohoo and i'll tell you what i downloaded the app again for this holiday and i was like let me just see what they've got and i looked and so much of this stuff is so good like the dalmatian dress was from um the like maxi dress was from boohoo um obviously the shirt was boohoo the cycling shorts are boohoo there's a few more bits in here as well like i'm really really shocked they turned their brand around in a really good direction i feel and now i'm back i keep going on their website and they just upload so much frequently and it, there's always discount and it's really affordable like even more so than you know pretty little thing was guided they just seem to be like right on that really really affordable bracket so i keep going to them and i would urge you to do the same i feel like boohoo are really killing the game at the moment so anyway on to the next hopefully i won't be boring you for much longer so this is a top i bought from asos it's from stradivarius and it's just nice to have tops which aren't body suits you know i just feel like every time you want to buy a top that's full length rather than cropped it's got to have poppers in it to do you up like no sometimes i just want something that tucks in so this is like i really really like this shape on me at the moment where it's sort of sleeveless but curves around a bit and it's a bit higher on the neck um and i love the color of this it is like like a nice little perfect sort of beige nude and it's really thick material and i don't think this is very expensive at all i got this in a medium i wore this to the airport with some um like wide leg trousers which ended up being the exact same color but they were from a different brand they are in here so i'll show you and talk more about them in a second but it ended up being like the perfect little cord for the airport so i love that again boohoo absolutely killing it um this is like a nice little zebra tiger print whatever you want to call this just your basic scoop back 
swimsuit and it was really flattering i wore this on the first day i got there and i just felt comfortable you know i was on boohoo last night and they've got it in now like these stripes are like neon green no not neon green but like more of like a sort of jade green and they've got a neon pink one as well and they both look lush um i wish the green one was around before i went because i would definitely have picked that over this one but i still love this nonetheless this was five pounds um the ones with the different colored stripes i've noticed are a bit more expensive they're like 10 pounds and 12 pounds but this was five five quid these trousers which by the way are my love of the holiday so there are these what, what material would this be? It's like really thin, sort of like almost chiffony, but not. Like it feels like crap material, but when it's on, it does bit. So you've got the waistband, zip down the side, and they are tight on the bum, but then they go off into a nice wide leg. And as you can see, the pattern's like, again, that Dalmatian print with bits of pink and orange in. And I bought these in a 10 to begin with. Oh my god, the sizing is so off, like I can't even lie about it. It's definitely size up. I had to get a 12 and they fit just right. Um, but yeah, I think even like a 14 would have fit on me and like I've had no issues. Um, but they seriously like size up in these if you're going to buy them. I think they're about £25. Uh, absolutely in love with them. They are so flattering, so gorgeous. I am very reluctant to ever let go of these um, just because they are like the dream wide leg trouser that you could ask for, to be honest. Zara really came through with these ones. I've never bought any denim from Zara before. And now I am a proud owner of these denim shorts. And when I was in Spain, I also bought a pair of their mum jeans as well because... I love these so much, I was like, surely I'll like the jeans too, and I did. Um, these cost me £20. I looked in Topshop, they don't even have anything like this this year. And anything that was remotely similar was like £40. And I was like, I just got these for half price in Zara. Um, got them in a 10. Really, really flattering. So comfortable as well. The last and final item of this little haul. This is... The softest material you can imagine it is like giving your legs a hug these are the wide leg trousers I've been like bringing up this entire video um, and they are like jersey ribbed beige wide leg trousers and this is from these are from boohoo top that I showed you before from ASOS Stradivarius the one that I said was the exact same color as this I wore that tucked into these Jess said that I looked like is it a Jedi is it the Jedis that wear like all beige? To be honest with you, I felt so comfortable that it didn't matter to me. I just thought that was really comfortable. So everything that I've shown you here isn't obviously everything I took away. I did take away some more sort of basic stuff, but I just thought about the sort of things that are a bit more interesting. Stuff which I haven't shown on here, which there was it has been on my Instagram. I do also have a 21 buttons, I will link that below. So Depop, 21 buttons, and all of these items will be below so you can see and pick up some stuff for your holidays as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really, really sorry that it's been a long time. Please give it a thumbs up for me and uh please subscribe as well and make sure to hit the little bell button um, because I don't have a bit of a routine at the moment the bell button will just mean that you get notified when I have uploaded so if you want to see that please hit that one as well um, and I hope to see you in the next video bye